Okay, now hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Kevin from Kevin from MC. I got a small sword in my mouth, so I'm gonna be talking a bit funny today. Huh? So this I have right now is a Can Demi EE seventeen, which is a thirty mil f one point seven half frame camera, which I bought, and this is got something pretty wrong with it. So as you can see, some spare parts and. floating rear almond which is fall out so let's put this thing back in yeah while I talk to you about the, the camera itself so I bought this thing from someone that said that it had a broken shutter like one of I mean they were gone and everything worked the aperture also worked and the thing is that the aperture does not work so it's just open all the time see let's show you this see so I'm gonna have to fix that also yeah so First, I'm gonna tackle this problem, which is the stuck. I mean, the floaty rear element of the lens, which I hopefully can fix by like twisting it in with a tool. Yeah. So let's do it. Also, the front lens is pretty scratched up. Um, I actually watched Japan vintage cameras videos and he also stated that these things often come in like broken or like scratched up and stuff like that yeah so that is not a surprise for me at least then let's see if I can actually do this I'm not gonna guarantee anything cause this is the first demi I've ever taken apart yeah I think or more like ex received yeah so let's, let's pull it out there you go, it's centered, then let's screw this thing in, and hope it doesn't fall out, yeah. Okay. I'm using this guy because my what you call this thing? Furnier caliper will not fit in that hole. I mean it will but you cannot reach the sides of the lens if you're doing this. So you're probably only gonna be able to do this and nothing else. Which is gonna take a lot of time. So next is close this back down yeah. Um I suspect this thing has a apparent I mean a shutter blades that are stuck open. I'm not sure what's going going on with the aperture, yeah. So let's see that later, yeah. First, let's focus to infinity. Keep it at infinity. <clears throat> then let's open this ring up. It's pretty easy to open. And these are essentially the shutter cocking thingy spare part because the bolt somehow cracked in half or something. And you can't screw it back on, which is pretty bad, I think. But nonetheless, I want to try and see if I can actually fix one of these. Because if you can fix one of these in the future, if you get one more that's a bit broken, you can actually fix it and have a working camera. Because now I have a, I can roll a film, which I've only used like 10 exposures, laying in my refrigerator, and they're not being used. So, I mean, it's not being used, and I'm scared that it might expire. So... The first 10 photos might be gone after that, yeah. So that's a bad thing that happened. For you have this ring. This aperture tab right here, I think. I think it's an aperture tab, I'm not sure. This thing connects to this guy. So it goes like that, and you can turn that like lever thingy with this small notch. Now, under this thing, you have this, which is not held in by anything. This thing is held in orientation like this with a small hole which goes goes into this like like prong thingy which comes out next I think you take the optic out and this is pretty sticky so I think the aperture might be in something I mean the shutter might be in something pretty similar to the optic it's sticky when I mean like there's some crease on the thread so it doesn't like go out smooth and metallic this you can see some gunk on here which is not supposed to be there and you can see this 
locking ring style thing. So this is supposed to work, yeah. This thing has this locking screw, which is then locking this ring in here. Not like the Ashikas where they don't have this locking screw, they just let me show you the locking screw. So the locking screw is right here, yeah. See? This is not present on any Yashika, so you just spin the ring out, the black ring. But on this thing you have to like unscrew this thing, I think, yeah. Let's see. It goes out pretty easy. Oh no, I think it's like a rectangle. Yeah, it's a, it's a rectangle. So you just like unscrew it till it clears the gap if you can actually see it. Yeah? So um, I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but it's clear now, yeah? So I think you can just like uns unspin this thing out. Let's see. Let's see. See, you can do it. So in this lengthwise orientation, the, the knobs just like go through. Then if you spin it this way, it just hits the thing. So that's how it like stops the ring from self self destructing. Ah, oh, this front is also pretty wobbly for some reason, yeah. And I've tightened this thing down by a bit, but it's not working. So, it might be something else that I need to fix before I can actually use it. This, and this thing comes out. Next, you have this, which is essentially the clock cord. This goes into here, I think. And for some reason, these things got clickless, so that is not a very, very good thing if you don't like click. I mean, if you don't like clickless shutter speeds, because in theory, you can not see what shutter speed you're on with this method, yeah. Which is not the best thing ever. Then let's see. Um, this small thing, this prong, goes up into this thing, which sits over here. This thing is this lever thing right here. Okay. So this lever goes into here and what controls the shutter speed? Let's see. Let's try and push this thing. I think this thing goes in here. Yeah, pretty much. So, oh no, it doesn't. I think you can actually move this. See? So then let's push this thing back in. Okay. I'm not sure how the hell you actually find the different speed, but this thing does know the speed. So let's take this thing out to show you, yeah? It does change speed if you actually spin this ring. So let's hold this guy down. Like this, yeah? And cock the shutter. For example, you want it to shoot at 1 500 per second. See? Then if you want to shoot bulb. See? It actually knows the shutter speed. But I'm not sure what the hell is actually contacting. It might be this thing though. But I'm not very sure because this thing is connected to this thing. Then let's... But this thing also has a like right thing which is like times 2 times 4 which I think means like you can multiply the speed for some reason yeah maybe not very sure but there you go there it is and you can use this feature yeah if you actually want to use it so then let's put this thing right here yeah? quite a lot of bits for the first part in the lens assembly um So let's find the bit that controls the shutter bit. There must be one. Like at least one. That's the charge. See? This thing goes slow and doesn't fully go there, so maybe push it. No?
This trips this guy. This will then trip what else? This trips this. Which this trips this thing I think. See ya. Yeah? This moves is this. Let me show you. So this lever, this sharp lever, trips this metal piece right here. This will chip this, this will chip this, this will go up, releasing this lever right here. I'm not sure what the hell this thing does with this. Let's see what I can do with this. So this is supposed to be bulb. Wait, wait, wait. So let's push this thing back in. So I told you this thing's pretty complicated to work on. So let's then go into this groove. See? It knows the shadow speed when you actually do this. I'm not sure how the hell it knows that. Once you fire, let's move it to one eighth. How the heck do you even deal with this thing? Let's see. What's this thing doing? This does. Also, you wind it with this thing. You can actually wind it like this. And have this thing chip it. See? But I'm not sure what the heck's wrong with the lens. And this is the aperture, I think, yeah. And it's not working at all. Or is it? Let's wind it again. See? It's not working at all. Um this 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 moves? What else moves? What's this do then? I'm not sure what the heck this thing's supposed to do, yeah. Oh, I think this is supposed to make it auto. So this thing disengage something. In theory, yeah. I'm not sure what the heck it does, but there you go. So, this hits this. This hits this bottom pin. Okay. And a helicoid somewhere down there. You can see the groove right there, yeah? And so next, someone said that it'll be a good idea to like put some lighter fluid in this thing. I'm not sure if that is a good idea, but <clears throat> I might try it because yeah, there's nothing here to lose, to be honest. So let me contact the seller first because I want to make him understand the condition of the camera. If I can get a discount, I'm going to get one because this is not... What I plan on because I plan on either like using this thing as a half frame camera or like or like converting this thing to E mount which is gonna also need an aperture which I do not have right now. Yeah. That's a bad thing. So let's put this guy back on. And this little prongs. There we go. Then screw this thing back in. And to be honest, this camera smells really nice. It smells like some perfume, which is a rare thing I get to say because most of the cameras coming in are disgusting. They smell like hell. 
and this thing doesn't, which is quite a redeeming quality. And let's screw this guy to lock this guy. And let me go show you the locking capability. Yeah. So once you lock this thing in, it won't do anything. I scratched it. It's not going to come out. And then let's push this optic back in. Oh yeah, let me try and clean this optic first. This thing seems like it's pretty clean to you. So I might not need to clean it or anything like that. So just drop this thing in and screw it down. And this thing has a Seiko shutter which is <clears throat> not what I'm used to. I'm used to the Shashika Copal shutters and that I think is a bit easy to work on because I know that thing pretty much inside out and this thing is my first Seiko so yeah then let's push this thing down get the aperture thingy back in and screw this thing back down so yeah thank you for watching um hopefully I can come back and show you what's totally wrong with this thing if I can deal out a nice price with the seller actually these things are deep in my nice price but to be honest this is gonna be quite a lot of work so yeah thank you